In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the areas of a normal curve using Z table. For example, we have this find the probability of Z less than 1.35. So it's asking for the probability. Probability is actually the area of the normal curve. So this is the normal curve and inside this normal curve is the area and within this uh, area this is actually what you call the probability it is the percentage of course the highest percentage is 100 so that means the whole area of this normal curve is equivalent to 1 because 100 percent serves as 1 in decimal and if it's 0 0.8 then that means it's 80 percent and so on. So the area here is uh, a total of 1. And if you're going to cut it exactly in the middle of 0, so the other at the left is 0 0.5 or 50%, and the other at the right is 0 0.5. And so we're going to find the z less than 1.35. So we're going to locate 1.35. It's around here. So this is 1.35. I'm going to mark. A line and since it's less than so we're going to find this area so what is the area of this uh, normal curve this part of the normal curve and so we're gonna use um, let's cut first this part so we know that this is 0 0.5 and and we only need to know this because it's gonna be 0 0.5 plus that part and how will we know that this part at the right side of zero? We will know that using a z table. So before before uh, the z table came out, uh, people try uh, um, usually solve using integration, using calculus to find the area of the of the that part. But then uh, we already have the z table to make it easier and we don't need to do integration or calculus to get the area because it's already there in the table and so let's just follow the table and you need, you only need to understand how to use it there are two kinds of z table a z table coming from the left going to the right but it is not the zero the z table that we are using that we are using the other z table which is coming from zero to z meaning the, the the area that is given in the z table is coming from the middle going to either right or going to the left so i i prefer to use this kind of z table because it's only one uh it's, it's only few uh, compared to the other z table from left to right it is having a lot of numbers it has negative it has positive and in this case it's only one it's only positive why it's only one because uh, the area at the right and at the left of zero is just the same. It's going to be the same distance. So that's why it's going to be fewer numbers to look at. So anyway, let me teach you how to use it. So our, num our value is 1.35. So we're going to look for 1.3. So it's around here. 1.3 at the, at the left side, uh, at the, the vertical column. And then we have 5 because it's 1.35. So we're going to look for 0 0.05 so it's so all in all it's 1.35 so in the row in the, the row is 1.3 and the column is 0 0.05 so that's a total of 1.35 and the area for this part is 0 0.4115 that's according to the z table so the probability that z is less than 1.35 is equal to the 0.5 that's a half of the z of the normal curve plus the 0.4115 that's the area between 0 and 1.35 which is equal to 0 0.9115 and that is the area that we are looking for now let's take another example let's say we're going to find the probability that z is greater than 2.18 so let's have the normal curve and we're going to plot the 2.18 so it's around here more than 2 2.18 so 
could actually estimate you don't need to find the exact location and we're gonna put the line so it says greater than 2.18 so the shaded part will be going to the right so that's the area that we are looking for and then we're gonna put the line for zero because our Z table is coming from zero so unfortunately there is no Z table coming from right going to 2.18 that makes it easier so we cannot have that because we don't have that kind of Z table and what I am teaching you is the kind of Z table coming from the center and so we're gonna look for this because this is the, the area that is from the Z table and we will use that to find the area the shaded area and let's use the z table we're going to look for 2.18 so first we will look for the row 2.1 so it's here and then the 0 0.08 so the total of 2.18 2.18 so the area for this part from 0 to 2.18 is 0.4854 but we are not looking for that but we're going to use that to find the shaded area so this is the the shaded the whole part at the right side of zero is obviously 0 0.5 so the probability that z is greater than 2.18 is so the as i said from zero going to the right is a total of 0.5 because that's half of the graph half of the normal curve then we're going to subtract 0.4854 because we we will not include that uh, that's not part of the shaded part so we're going to remove it from the 0 0.5 0 0.4854 and what's left is the shaded part so we will have this which is a difference of 0 0.0146 and that is the area of the shaded part now another example so we're going to find the probability of z greater than negative 1.56 so let's have the normal curve and let's plot the negative 1.56 so just estimate around here it's negative 1.56 and let's put the line or a broken line and so it is saying that it's we're going to find greater than negative 1.56 if it's greater than it's going to be shaded going to the to the right so this is the part that we are looking for the area of this and we're going to divide it into uh, two Again, put a line always put a line in the center because that is how our uh, z table uh, starting it is coming from the zero from the center or the zero so we know that this is half of the normal curve that means it's 0 0.5 so we only need to find this and we will just add later the 0 0.5 so what is the area of this part so let's look for the area in the z table so it's z equals 1.56 so it's 1.5 so it's here and 0 0.06 so that's 1.56 so it doesn't matter whether it's negative or positive because the diff distance from 0 to negative 1.56 is the same as 0 to positive 1.56 so you may just ignore the negative sign if you are looking at the z table so the area for that is 0 0.4406 so this is 0 0.4406 and we will have now the the, the the area we're gonna have now the answer for this the probability of z is greater than negative 1.56 is equal to uh, the 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4406 and the sum is 0 0.9406 and that is the area that we are looking for another one find the p or probability of z less than negative 0 0.87 so we have this curve and we're going to plot 0 point negative 0 0.87 it's around here and we're going to put a broken line so it says it's less than negative 0 0.87 so less than you're know, going to shade uh, the left side so it's here this is the part that we are looking for and so um, we're going to put a line for in the, in the center and we're gonna we can find the area of this part because it's 
coming from the center from 0 to the negative 0 0.87 although it, it's not the area that we are looking for but we're going to use it to find the, the shaded area so let's look at the z table and let's find a 0 0.87 so 0 0.8 it's here and next is um, 0 0.07 or 0 0.07 so that's a total of 0 0.87 so the area is 0 0.3078 so this is 0 0.3078 but are, that's not the thing that you are looking for but we can use that to find the area of the shaded part so the probability of z less than negative 0 0.87 is equal to so we know that the half of the curve is 0 0.5 so half at the left of 0 is 0 0.5 so we're going to subtract or remove the 0 0.3078 0 because that's not what we are looking for that's not part of the answer so let's subtract the difference will be 0 0.192 and that is the area of the shaded part another one we have find the probability that negative 1.47 less than z less than 2.19 so what does it mean by this if you're looking for an area in between negative 1.47 and 2.19 so let me illustrate it so let's plot negative 1.47 around here and for 2.19 it's around here so let's just estimate and let's put a line and we're looking for the area in between them so this is the thing that we are looking for and now let us find the area so let's put a line in, in the middle and let's find this so using the z table we're gonna find a 1.47 so 1.4 and then 7 so the column 7 and the row 1.4 that is 0.4292. And then next is this 2.19. So 2.1 and then 9. So 2.1 row and the column 9, which is 0.4857. So now we can get the area of the shaded part. So the probability in between negative 1.47 and 2.19 is equal to the sum of 0.4292 and 0.4857 so let's can let us add this it will be a, having a sum of 0.9149 so that is the area of the shaded part let's have another example we have find b um in between negative 2.58 and negative 1.36 so let us illustrate it first we have negative 2.58 so let's just estimate it's around here negative 2.58 and also negative 1.36 it's around here so we're gonna find in between them so we're gonna shade it and then we are going to uh, how can we find the area so let us find this area first the whole from 0 to negative 2.58 using the z table negative 2 uh, 2.5 is here and 8 so that's an area of 0 0.4951 so that's the whole area from 0 going to 2.58 including the one that is not shaded now the unshaded part this we can find the area of that using the z table from 0 to 1.36 so that is 1.3 and 6 so 0.4131 so that's an area of 0 0.4131 which is the unshaded part so why do we need to know the area of the unshaded part it is because we want to remove that from the 0.4951 because that is part of the area of 0.4951 the shaded part and the unshaded part so we want to remove it so now let us solve so if you say remove we're going to subtract 0 0.4951 minus 0 0.4131 so the difference will be 
0 0.082. So that is the area of the shaded part. Now you might ask, how come it is minus and the other previous one is plus, where they are both the same in between? When you compare it to the other, to the previous example, as you remember the in the illustration, the zero is in between them. That's why we add. So that's a hint for you. When the, it's in between and the zero is in between them, that means you're going to add them. But if zero is not a part of the shaded part, it's not in within the shaded part, then you're going to subtract. So that's uh, a clue or a hint when to add or when to subtract. So let's have our last example. Find the P where Z is greater than 3.78. So let us plot it in our normal curve, 3.78, so it's around here, 3 point something, 3.78, and let's put a, a line. So it says greater than 3.78, so if you say greater than, so the shaded part will be, will be at the right side. I don't know if you can see the, the shaded part, it's very, very small. And to solve it, we're going to start from the center because that's our the nature of our Z table from the center going to the left, uh, right or going to the left. So we can find this part, this area, and let's find it from the Z table. Now let's look at 3.78. Notice that our last row is only up to 3.6. So specifically up to 3.69. So what is now the value or the area of 3.78? So beyond the Z table, beyond 3.69, will always be 0 0.4999, which is the same as the last area, 3.69, 0 0.4999. And it's always like that when it's beyond the Z table. So we can solve now for the area. So we know that the whole area at the right of 0 is 0 0.5. So we're going to remove the 0 0.5. 4999 because that is not an, that is unshaded part so and what's left will be the shaded part so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4999 will be 0 0.0001 and it's very very small because obviously in the shaded the shaded part is very small so it must be uh, the same as the value it must correspond that it must be a very small number and that is how to find the area of a normal curve using a z table thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section